Hey everybody, it's Card Collecting Duo, back with another video. And today we have uh, kind of a different type of video, not doing a lot of openings, but wanted to share uh, some footage of some stuff we saw recently. Uh, this video is going to be kind of heavy on the Yankee stuff, which I realize uh, most people watching are probably not Yankees fans, but hopefully you get a kick out of this because we have uh, some memorabilia and some other things. So we have a couple cards to show and an in-person auto. And I'm gonna do those things in the second half of the video. First, I was just gonna show that um, Henry and I went, have been to some Yankee games this season. And um, recently we actually checked out the Yankee Museum. Uh, actually, uh, I thought about it because it was in this, um, the, the PSA magazine. And if you're a member for the PSA, uh, you get, and they had an article on the director. His name is Brian Richards, you see here. Uh, so a couple of the games we went to check it out, and it's really pretty cool. And I shot a bunch of footage there. Um, wouldn't you say, Henry? Yeah. I mean, oh. the, the best, some of the best things about it, I would say, are, one, it's free. Uh, you can just walk right in. There's no reservation or anything. It's in the stadium. It's on the 200 level, like the the mezzanine, the second deck. It's just kind of in the in the back there. Uh, it's not that crowded. Not a lot of people know about it, and it's air conditioned. So when it's really hot there, or if it's raining, you go in there. It's nice air conditioned. You can spend all the time you want, um, and uh, it's it's a lot of fun to see things. So. Here are some uh, little clips of what they have there. They have this whole, one part of it is this uh, a whole uh, arrangement of autographed baseballs, which I took some footage of them. And then they have some cards and other memorabilia. And the, the director, this guy Brian Richards, was there. We spent some time talking to him. A lot of time he talked to me and Henry about um, where he got a lot of the stuff. He did not want to go on camera, which is fine. But you can see in part of the video, you can see like him, the back of him talking to some uh, and, and he's talking to some of the other uh, people who are visiting. So here are some of those clips now. And I mean, Diana has said over the years, people will come up and say, I'm into this. That was just his approach. And the other thing you have to think of is like, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? My child surgery, we didn't have health insurance over and over. And it, it, it's a shame that we couldn't revere him. Step out here, so I don't want to block anybody's way. We sorry, I got a bad habit of doing that. We couldn't revere him. Yeah. Or, but I also he didn't want that. He didn't want that. He wanted, that. That. He wanted to be the presence. Yeah. Fine. He took care of everybody. And he could have. Yeah, so what could I do? He could have. He's so much pressure. That wasn't even a third Yeah. In his mind. I grew up near Williamsburg. Okay. Yep. And after he passed away, a lady published a letter in the paper. She said, in the early 90s, I was a single mom. I had two little kids who loved baseball. I was working hard. I didn't have money. But we really scraped together a couple of hours to get an opportunity. And my kids planned out who's going to pitch. They were so excited. We were there. We bought a couple of less expensive souvenirs. Sure, sure. You know, and my kids were just so happy. They just treasured. They won't go to Texas Stadium. Yeah. So we walk out. Some guys say, that. So my kids cried the whole way home. And she said, I just knew. I said, this happened. You're going to find your security. These are all autographed baseballs. Catfish Hunter. Why did you hate him? 
Because he was always bitter about his contract. All right, so you can see it's a good place to uh, spend some time before the game or during if you want to, even if you're not a Yankee fan. And there's more to do there that we didn't even show. All right, now next part. Okay, so now uh, some other things. We have uh, a couple cards here, uh, an eBay pickup, and um, another one. Actually, Henry and I went to another uh, Hudson Valley Renegades game, which is the single-A affiliate of the Yankees, high A. Anthony Volpe is now there. I picked up this, just the first Bowman paper uh, prospect card of Volpe um, to get him, try and get him to sign it. We did see him there. We had good seats behind first base, but he wasn't signing. Uh, however, did get a signature here of Austin Wells. Austin Wells currently the, the number six prospect for the Yankees. He was their first round pick in 2020. He's a catcher. And he was signing there, so Henry got him to sign his hat. So there you can see a nice Austin Wells auto at the game. Uh, Bolpe um, didn't, didn't have a great game. He's now the Yankees' number one prospect in their organization. He's a shortstop. He was, uh, I think, a, a first-round pick in 2019. Um, and he's like the number, I think he's number 15 overall by MLB Pipeline. Uh, the game we saw wasn't a great game. It was actually the, 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 there was like a no hitter against the Yankees. The other team only got two hits, no hitter through 10 innings. And it was 0-0, went to extra innings. Volpe went 0 for 5. Right, Henry? Yeah. And he came up twice in extra innings uh, in like the 10th and the uh, 12th or something like that and he struck out both times <laughs> unfortunately uh, struck out looking the second time so did not have a great game hopefully it's just a, a one-off bad game um, as opposed to this one I picked up um, on eBay got another uh, Josh Smith um, Refractor Auto to $4.99 uh, on card. Uh, got this in an auction uh, off eBay. Pretty good price. I think it was just 40 bucks. And this is the player that they traded for Joey Gallo to be replaced by Volpe. Smith, when we saw him, did have a good game. He went like three for four and basically almost helped them win the game in extra innings by getting a triple in the bottom of the ninth. Not extra innings. Um, and he's now the Rangers number six prospect. So looking for good things for him next year and looking for good things for Volpe maybe in like two years. Yeah. All right. So that's what we got. Some cool stuff there. And uh, we had a good time while getting it. All right, so thanks everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I uh, hope you uh, like and subscribe to our channel if you like it. And we'll be back again with another video. Bye. Bye.